This is the micro homily for the 20th of November. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. When a parent learns that a child's illness, terrible illness, can be cured, that is sweet news. When they learn that the cure will be uncomfortable, that turns sour. When we learn that God's intention for us is eternal happiness, that is sweet. But when we learn that our response to this news leads us to the resurrection but through Calvary, that's sour. Part of that journey is the duty of the Christian to speak out against exploitation, and that's what's going on in the Gospel. If you wanted to offer a sacrifice, to pray solemnly for your intention, you needed to sacrifice something. And there were rackets going on. You had to spend temple money, so you had to change your daily money at an inflated rate to temple money to buy the animal, and the animals were overpriced, often animals that wouldn't sell in the market. So twice over, someone coming to the temple to pray was exploited, was robbed. That's the cause of Jesus' anger. It's not the fact that they're selling things, it's the fact that people are being exploited and robbed. We delight in the sweetness of God's plan for us, but there will be times when speaking out as we must against the abuse of power will make us enemies. That's sour, but we have Jesus' own example to give us strength.